Saturday morning is about the, I don't know, 22nd of March perhaps. Um, 14 degrees this morning when we woke up, so rather chilly. But we're leaving the Bay of Naxos right on the southern coast. And where are we heading? We're heading up to Nelsa, Nusa, whatever it is, um, on the island of Paros. How long will it take to get there? Um, that depends on the weather, of course, but it should take about six hours. So it's a 23 nautical mile journey ish. Um, yeah, and uh, as you can see, there isn't a lot of wind at the moment. A little bit of a breeze. We've got the mainsail up already. And, uh, but we are expecting some wind, 15 knots roughly. You look cold. It's my ears. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of wind now in comparison to what we had. Um, we uh, came around the bottom of Naxos and we only had seven knots of wind or something. And it's been up to about 19 now. So we put a reef in the main, reef in the Genoa, and we're actually doing really well. We're doing about seven knots, just over seven knots at times. Well, it's ever changing. We've had 24 and a half knots of wind. We've had down to 14 knots of wind. It's all over the place. Yeah, we came into the harbour about, I don't know, about quarter to eight, something like that. Um, we we anchored last night in an orderly, so even if we didn't have to come into the marina, <coughs> we would have had to turn the anchor around, so we decided to come in. Um, it's a bit tight and it's a bit shallow. Yeah, we're on the dock. We came in this morning about eight o'clock and the weather was great. Still water, no wind. Um, great good timing to bring boat in we did ask if we could come in and they said yeah it's free to come in just be careful obviously of the work that's been done we put in a big chain and there are three great big concrete blocks um, so it's just been aware of them but we came through we've got a two meter draft and we had 0.6 under the keel apparently whether that's <laughs> accurate or not we're not sure so you can get in so there are people on these islands very busy here sunday morning everyone's out for their morning coffee Kevin's idea of heaven. Oh. How's that say? Can you do this? Sweet chop. Cake chop. And it's Sunday, we thought this would probably be shut. I thought it'd be shut. Amazing. I did. You hoped. So lots of work being done, lots of uh, painting and repair work for the season. But it's so pretty, it's really good, isn't it? It's a beautiful.
uh, sat at the bus stop. This is the first bus, we believe, uh, from Noosa or Nausa to Perikia this year. We've got our tickets out of the ticket machine and um, arrived at half past nine. We're a bit early, it's only about ten past nine, so hopefully it'll be on time. First bus ever. But yeah, so it's going to be a breezy day today. We've got about 30 knots coming through the anchorage and, well, not in the anchorage, we're in the harbour, so we're well tied off. So we thought we'd go for a day in the main town, check in, have some food, have a look round, um, and see what it's like. These little guys obviously don't want to go for a swim today. Found Port Police Office and tried to uh, have our transit log stamped, but because of this guy, um, all the staff are out. So we'll have to come back a little bit later and see if we can have it done. traditional dress and they're all hanging around the church which usually points to it being Easter but a parade of some kind yeah everybody's in one place there's nobody around anywhere else all the shops are shut it's yeah. Monday so we'll have a wander around to see if we can find it I think this was where the parade starts yeah well you can see why we wanted to be Tucked into a little harbour today. How's it looking? Rough. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not out there today. To say the least. Oh, yeah. We just left the harbour and in Paros and we're heading now for Kithnos which we didn't intend to but the wind direction is better for Kithnos and although it's about 44 miles I've only got 38 to go now we've been going for an hour and 20 minutes so um, we've got around eight nine knots of wind we're doing around five knots speed over ground so we should be there for between five and six o'clock tonight we're going to head into Lutron, which is the uh, one of the main little ports. Uh, anchor down there for tomorrow because there's a bit of wind coming. And then it all dies off apparently and there is no wind. So we're just going to see what, what happens. If we have to stay there a few days, at least we've got the town to, uh, to have a look at. Dee's down below. She's preparing the, uh, the lunches, or the lunch. And I think we've got uh, tuna mix. Yeah. Tuna salad. Tuna salad. All nice fresh salad stuff from yesterday. Wait, now I'm cleaning windows. You missed a bit in the corner. We are at sea. We are doing five, no, we're doing four and a half knots at the minute. We've got about eight knots of wind, about seven. So Dee's decided that because it's so calm and it's such a nice sail that she's going to clean the window. 
Oh, you haven't finished, it's smeary. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's just a really gentle sail this morning. The sea is nice and calm, and we've just got, we have got eight knots now, so uh, it's picked up a little bit. At this rate, we should be there about eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> you just keep cleaning. See, you start a job, and then somebody always has to do it better. No, actually they're quite smeary, they were covered in salt and absolutely filthy. So I've just got the salt off. Kevin's now doing the polishing part. So, down to the wind. Well, so as ever, the predictions are completely out. Um, we're heading straight into where we're supposed to be going, but we're all, we've got wing on wing and we have barely got any wind. So I think we're doing about three and a half knots at the minute. Oh, 2.9. Um, so yeah, it was supposed to be coming from a beam to a broad reach and we've got a dead downwind at the minute. Um, they got five knots of wind at the minute. Yeah. We're just coming into um, Lutra. Starting to lose the light, it's around six o'clock. It's due to be dark about seven totally, but we should be in by then. Just got the main up at the moment. I took the Genoa in a while ago because it was just flapping around doing nothing and we chose to go on the main rather than the Genoa because we were getting more speed so about another what 40 minutes to go about another 40 minutes and we should be in the anchorage never been before so it's a bit of a, a new one for us so we'll, uh, we'll see how we go and let you know We've just come ashore on the island of Kithnos in a place called Lutron, which is a lovely little town that we're going to explore. Um, we've been to Kithnos before, but we've been on the south coast. Yes. West coast. This is a new one for us. The, uh, the boat, um, Ula, is moored in the little bay. Um, we're in about 10 metres of sand with about 55 metres of chain out because I put a bit more out this morning. We were around in the bay by the harbour last night when we came in. So we came in about seven o'clock, it was half past six, seven o'clock last night, the sun was setting. So what we didn't want to do is um, try and anchor somewhere that we didn't know. So we literally dropped anchor by the harbour. And it was really quite swelly, but we slept brilliantly. So we just got up this morning, moved the boat in, and yeah, really nice. Oh dear. Ping full white legs. Sort that out soon.